This is Bagua snake boxing. The snake's uh, family member is, is the uh, second son and it works upon, in a healing sense, upon the, all of the life force meridians in your body, namely the kidneys, liver, spleen and bladder. It's a water animal, is the snake, it represents water. The snake is, is quite a beautiful form. They all are, but this is one of my favorites. It's, it's a twisty, turny form, obviously, because of the snake. The snake gains its power. It's really ideal for Bagua because it gains its power from, from the center of its body, the midsection, from, in other words, from the waist. The snake just doesn't go like this. It throws its body from, the, from its, its big muscular center section. And that's what Bagua is all about. We gain the power from that midsection, like this. So the snake is ideal for this. Snake, on a healing sense, as I said, it works upon the life force in your body. So it's really excellent for health. And I've proved this myself by experiments and testing I've done on myself using this form. And testing it as a ruler, for instance, going along two-mile walk up the mountain and back and I've correlated that uh, to my own health and so, so I've come to the conclusion that it's fantastic for health not only in a general sense but also for your blood glucose levels for all of your the liver kidneys and those sort of areas um, on a fighting area the snake like is like no other animal. It gets in to places that the other animals are maybe too big to get into or where they just use power techniques. The snake slithers and gets into places using stealth. So it's an excellent uh, form for the smaller person and the female as well as for the larger person anyway because it's, it's just a lovely form to know. We start the snake form walking as usual one walk around the circumference um, as, and as usual I'm not going to teach you about Bagua walking because it would take me five days to teach you because it really is that complicated but once you get it it never leaves you so you must of course know about the way to walk in Bagua and as I, uh, it's enough to say that you, know, you don't just walk around the circumference like that quite often in the beginning if I'm teaching a class and you just as an introductory class to Bagua, I'll just mention this and I'll say, well, okay, rather than me trying to teach you the Bagua walking, which will take me five days or something, we'll just walk around. But you should never ever walk around uh, if you're learning Bagua correctly and, and formally. If anyone tells you that, then walk out of the class because Bagua walking is very specific and it's specific for a reason. Enough said on that. So we walk around the circle, we start in, the, in your starting place, which will be here. Pat the dog, say good boy. So we walk around holding the normal dragon shape Bagua posture and we come back to the starting spot as usual. The starting position is here and our first move is the footwork we simply take the pigeon toed stance facing the center like so blue and we're going to put your weight onto the right foot uh, in eight sections as well uh, this is the first section so you simply take your pigeon toed stance and you thrust your right palm straight towards the center <laughs> Uh, this number one section is called the snake climbs or slithers or whatever up, the t up a tree. That's a direct translation of that. So we've come to here. Next move is you change your weight to your left leg and you thrust your left palm out. It's, it's, it's again a number three palm but it's turning over. A little bit like the nun offers the food posture from the original ba circular bagua form. So you notice that the body changes the weight in order to get the power, like the snake would change, the, change his body to get the power from the midsection. So from here, the snake's climbing the tree, we're still doing number one. So from here you walk around once and it's 
Bang, bang. You don't allow your feet to turn on the circumference because every, all the action is happening to the center. This is your, the person that you are fighting against is your center. So bang onto the right leg, bang onto the left leg. Now as soon as you've done that, the left hand is going to turn over. This is a classic Bagua posture. Uh, you may have seen the picture of Sun Luk Tang, which immediately comes to mind, standing in this posture. And no one seems to know why he's doing it. It's just a picture of him like this. Well, it's not until you learn the original animal forms that you realize that that's a posture from the snake form. So we've gone bang here and now ah. Now that's a posture in itself. There. So you don't just go sweeping over and allow your left foot to turn, you see? That's what you're going to do in a minute, but, or in a second. But, so if I were to do that, that would indicate that there's only action happening over here to my left facing clockwise. But there's also action happening here, in the, still in the center. We've done three, you'll see in a minute the application. So we've done one, two, three strikes to this person in the center here and then it will carry on as your left foot turns over the circumference of the circle. So it looks like this. It might look like it's just sweeping but you've got to, you've got to know instinctively that you've also done a third attack there before going over to this side. So we've gone bang, bang, bang. See? See how I didn't turn this left foot until just after my hand got ah, ah, and then the, then the foot turned. So it's not just a matter of going like that. It's a matter of going bang, ah, like as if there are two moves there. Now I'm just standing with my right heel on the circumference. The circumference is going through the middle of my foot in typical Bagua fashion. Now my left hand is going to turn over and I do a slap step forward with a, again this sort of a nun office food posture. Careful not to slip on the wet flooring. And now I'm going to turn my left foot out of the circumference. I'm going to slam down with my left hand as my right snake fingers come forward. I'll just do it fast before you, with a slap step. Bah! You notice that's going sort of along the circumference here. It's not going out at a tangent. It's both of those are going along the circumference. Note the footwork. They are parallel footing, this, this one. The weight's slightly back towards the rear. That's how I look here. I'll just do those slowly for you. So we've come to here. Then the foot swivels on the heel. Now I'll just do the whole thing slowly so you can see how, the, how, how it sort of twists together. I'll do it towards the camera, you see? Bang, bang. Okay, that's the finish of the first section. That's the uh, snake climbs the tree, or twists up the tree. I'll show you the applications now, Eli. Uh, okay. There's the center. Well, Eli will be my center this time. He's coming in with a left-handed to right-handed attack. Left-handed attack.